Chief Minister Nipiru congratulated the Yimkung Tribal Council and the Yimkung people upon the celebration of the 75 years Platinum Jubilee at Chimator Headquarter today. Speaking at the inaugural occasion, Rio stated that every district should have one government college and the Fertis stated that the government is working towards setting up a government college at Shamato. Rio also called upon the people to unite and work together for the progress of the district. The chief minister also virtually integrated the NEFN Nefa Road connecting Shangpur to soil colony Shamato, constructed under SASCI state during 2023-2024. The tribal body in Manipur, the Indigenous Tribal Leaders Forum ITLF, has raised question towards Rashtriya Swayam Savak Sangh, RSS Chief Mohan Bhagwat, regarding the cause of conflicts between Metis, Kuki and Zor tribes. They have pointed out these clashes have escalated only after the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP, came into power. This comes after the RSS Chief Mohan Bhagwat on Tuesday asked if extremists across the border were involved in Manipur violence. For many years, Metis and Kuki communities have been living together. How did the violence erupt all of a sudden? The conflict benefits external forces. Are external factors involved? Bhagwat said while addressing the RSS, the Shera Reddy in Nagpur. <laughs> Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on Tuesday, October 24, visited the forward post in Arunachal Pradesh and carried out a first hand on ground assessment of the operational preparedness of the armed forces there. The Defence Minister also interacted with the troops deployed in the frontline locations along the line of actual control LSE, and celebrated the Sera with them. The Defence Minister expressed gratitude to the unyielding spirit, unwavering commitment and unparalleled courage of the troops who are deployed on the borders in tough conditions, but always ensure that the nation and its people are safe. The Kuki in P. Tangnopal district expressed anger over the police commandos for allegedly branding the three arrested Myanmar nationals as Kuki militants and alleging that more best organization supporting and patronizing illegal immigrants from Myanmar. The Kuki body in a statement while slamming the state police said, ridiculously the police commando branded the arrested trio as Kuki militants in Imphal Best News. The police commando also alleged that Moray civil society organizations had been objecting deployment of CDO in Moray so that as to bring more Myanmar nationals in the state. The same was also applauded by N. Biren Singh in his social media accounts. The Kuki in P. Tangnagopal would like to clarify that none of the Moray best organizations patronize illegal immigrants from Myanmar. Four migrant workers were rescued by Manipur police after being abducted at gunpoint by a group of unidentified individuals near Paknung village in Imphal East district on Monday night. The abducted workers, three from Bihar and one from Uttar Pradesh, were unloading pipes from a truck at warehouse in Paknung village in Manipur when they were forcefully taken by armed individual in a silver eco van around 4 p.m. They were driven towards Moirang Kampu in the same district. Four North Koreans suspected to have defected from their country were found on a small wooden boat in South Korean waters today. South Korean military confirmed that it has secured the custody of the North Koreans in coordination with the Coast Guard. The people on board, one man and three women, are reported to be members of the Sam family. India tested success on day one of the 15th Asian Shooting Championship in Changwon, Korea, where Sarab Jot Singh won bronze in a man's 10-meter air pistol and with it an 8 Paris 2024 Olympics quota place in shooting. It was the first quota in pistol event. Sarab Jot shot 221.1 in the final to finish behind two Chinese, Zhang Yifan Gol 243.7 and Liu Jingyao 242.1 respectively. Sarabjot earlier qualified for the top 8 with a score of 581, which helped in clinching the 8th position.